Hello everyone, today I am going to show you how I did water marbling on these nails. What I've done is I've prepared the nails. I have, I'm using my flexi pen. To save time I have buffed the nails, given them a base coat, given them two coats of gel polish and uh, cured them obviously and buff the top. The outside fingers are Model 1's Mirandi Nude. These two are Model 1's Rose Gold. And the one in the centre is Model 1's Bronze Nicole Diary Watercolour Nail Liquid. Yeah, so what I do is I just touch Depending on what you want to do I was give a bit of a blow on it. I made it. Actually, I've got the overhead fan on, so it's drying a bit quicker than normal. So, move those out the way. And over there, that was a purple ish colour. Now I'm going to give a bit of blue. It all depends on what you want and how you want it to appear. Blue, I think I've got some green in here. For you to see, isn't it? This one, we had a bit more green on this one, these ones, I think. Basically, you just tap it where you want it to do, but try not to flood over the top of the colour. You know, if it dries a bit, then Less likely to flat like I think I've just done there. Dark colour. Now I'm just picking anything up. To see what happens when I put it in there. It really highlights the glitter underneath that one. Okay, and then on this one I did a lot more darker colours. Yeah, I don't 
anything today. Come with what I did on that side. So I go very, 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 very. Like a flower, I'll do that. Now, what I did because we've done, we have these beautiful colours underneath, but right, as you can see. We get a bit of a, a, a long fringe, I suppose you call it, um, because we have the colour there, which is good. And the same goes for here. You've got, the, you can see the bronze. But here we're losing, we've still got the sparkle, and I'm sure it'll come up great. So just to make sure that I didn't lose the intensity of the sparkle, Rose gold. Let's try and get some of the stem. Okay. And I very gently just drag the bit from the base.
So there we are. I hope that I've given you an idea of how to use the watercolour inks. Are they pretty? I quite like what I'm doing what I call a long French where it's only part of the nail is decorated, about well, two thirds of the nail is decorated as opposed to, and not just the one colour. I quite like that effect. This is how I do my watercolour art, watercolour nail art. These are the nails that I did the other day. Thank you Leslie Poe for asking me to do it. I know it took a while but... One thing I found is you have to just keep practicing. Uh, every time you do it, you will either end up with a dirty dishwater mess or you'll end up with something very pretty and individual not something that you can get the same twice in a row as you can tell by my nails. Okay. Same technique, different result. But they look beautiful and I do like having something other than white or black underneath. I think it gives an extra dimension to the nails. Right, that's all for now. See you again next time.